Currently I use free software and there's a good reason for that. My intended audience with a lot of my coursework may not have access to paid subscription software like Adobe, Toon Boom, etc. So my intention with nearly all the work I do, and there are rare exceptions when I do use paid for software for certain jobs, but for the rest it's to show that great animation should not be limited by financial means or the lack of it. So if you have access to Adobe CC or Toon Boon, etc., that's great. They are top-notch products and there's a reason they charge because they are the de facto industry standard products. But they're also open source and free software products that are as good. And a lot of people who take my courses use them because they don't have the finances to pay the subscriptions for the paid products. So that's what I use now. So I can walk the talk, so to say, use the products that my students are actually using. I want this great craft we call animation to be available to anyone and everyone has, who has a talent, drive and desire to do it and not be shut out by the lack of means, which in this case is money. So the software I use is free and these are the packages I use. First of all, OpenTunes. I use OpenTunes exclusively for all my 2D animation. OpenTunes has an in interesting history. It was developed by an Italian company as Toons and was used on many movies and series and still is and used by great studios such as Studio Ghibli. Then they spun off an open source free version of Toons software and this is what OpenTunes essentially is. It's had many updates and improvements over the years. The early versions had a lot of bugs in them. I've come across a fair amount but the open source developers around the world have been very good, legendary in fact, at fixing these issues and making OpenTunes what it is today. A very, very good free 2D animation software with a lot of power. So that's what I use for my 2D animation. Krita is another free app or program that I use and I use it for all my digital drawing and painting. I came up through the ranks using Photoshop it was the best and probably still is photo editing painting package available. Keep in mind it was initially a fairly simple digital editing package that grew and morphed into what it is today. An absolutely mammoth program capable of incredible and amazing things. But after deciding to go all in on free software I discovered Krita and after a while I got to the point where I actually preferred Krita to Photoshop. I know, horror of horrors. For one, it's a lot simpler and it's extremely intuitive. Um, I learned to use it literally in an afternoon, whereas Photoshop took weeks and months to, to get the hang of. Um, it's also a heck of a lot simpler than Photoshop, one reason being it, it does only what you really want a digital painting package to do in that it allows you to paint. Photoshop has been around for decades, since 1987 I believe, and sold to Adobe in 88. It's since grown into the monster it is today. What's not to love? You can paint, edit, adjust digital artwork, photos, etc. You can do everything on Photoshop. You can even animate. The Krita, the younger and leaner alternative, has really only one objective and it delivers on it very well. It allows you to draw and paint fast and freely without getting in the way by offering you everything you actually don't need in a drawing and painting package. It's clean, it's lean, it's incredibly simple and it has allowed me to do my work faster and better than I could ever have done it in Photoshop. So I'm a big fan now, plus it's free which is great for all my students, so it's a win-win. Shotcut I use exclusively for all my video compiling and editing. Another great piece of free software that's excellent at delivering what it promises. Top class video editing capabilities, again being an uh, Adobe CC faithful, I've used After Effects for all my past video compilation and editing. And don't get me wrong, After Effects is awesome in what it does. There's absolutely no mystery why it's a go-to software for most animators and video editors. It really is very good. But again, when I decided to go 100% into free software, I found Shotcut after exploring a few other free options. After a short period of conversion from After Effects, I found Shotcut 
to be simpler, faster, and easier to work with. And there's very little it cannot do in the editing department that After Effects does, especially if you're just looking to edit and compile videos. It's awesome. Blender I use for all my 3D modeling and animation. Another awesome piece of open source free software. Blender is so powerful that many games companies use it and in the future probably more animation studios will be using it. At the moment of course Maya rules supreme in the 3D animation world and as with Photoshop and After Effects with good reason as it is a beast of a package and delivers incredible punch. Blender is a good free alternative to Maya. It does have a steep learning curve but once you get your head around it there's very little that you cannot do with it and with the addition of Grease Pencil a 2D add-on that allows you to create 2D artwork and animation in a 3D environment it has just grown even more desirable. I was trained and worked with the other Autodesk 3D package 3D Max 20 years ago and I loved it. I've not had any exposure to Maya which is so prolific in the industry. But in the theme of sticking with free software, I'm using Blender for all my 3D asset creation. Also the modeling, some backgrounds, and some animation. Early days, and I'm no ways an expert with Blender, but I do like its backstory and its power. And for 3D, it's all I need, and it's extremely powerful. I also use Coral Draw, which um, I've been using for... 25 years odd for illustration. Um, again, the Adobe alternative is obviously Illustrator, but I prefer CorelDRAW as I find it easier, more intuitive. It's a paid version, but, but there are alternative free vector drawing software that can be used. So that's a wrap of what I use for my work. All of it is free by the Coral Draw, which you can replace with a, another vector drawing package, free vector drawing package. So that's what I use now, and that's it.